In this video, you will learn lemon plus nonverbal reasoning type 8, nets and cubes, part 6. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master lemon plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Let's have a look at this example. And in this example, we're going to see which one of these cubes can be made from the net. So this is a nets to cubes example. I've got another video on cubes to nets, so go check that video out. And in this example, we are going to use pod to help us. So P O D. P stands for pointing direction, O stands for opposite sides, and D stands for different shapes. Let's start with pointing direction first. And in terms of pointing direction, if you have a look at the nets we have right here, and if you have a look at the arrow we have right here, you may notice that this arrow is pointing towards this semicircle and nowhere else. So if we do find an option in which the arrow is pointing somewhere else and not pointing towards this semicircle, then we cross the option off. In A, the arrow is pointing towards this triangle, which is the wrong shape. So therefore, we can cross off A. We want it to point towards this semicircle and nothing else. In B, the arrow is pointing towards the semicircle, which is the right shape, so we can keep B. In C, we don't have an arrow. We cannot see the arrow, so we can keep C for now. Let's move on to D. In D, the arrow is pointing towards the stripy pattern and not towards the semicircle. It's pointing at the wrong shape, so cross off D. Let's have a look at E. In E, the arrow is pointing away from the semicircle, not towards it, away from it. So therefore, it's once again pointing at the wrong direction, so cross off E as well. Now, we're left with B and C. So now we can put a tick next to pointing direction, and let's move on to opposite sides. Now let's use opposite sides for B. The shapes we have at B are an arrow, a semicircle and a raindrop. So these are the three shapes we have. Let's have a look at where these three shapes are in terms of the net. So we have the raindrop, we have the arrow and we have the semicircle. Now let's have a look where they are in terms of the opposite sides. The raindrops at the top, in the middle is the arrow and towards the right is obviously the semicircle. So these are the three shapes we have. And as you guys could see, all three of these shapes are on different color. And different color means they're not on opposite sides. So therefore, we can keep B. Now let's move to C. In C, we have three shapes once again. We have a raindrop, we have a diamond, and we have a triangle. Let's see where these shapes are in terms of the net. The triangle's right here, then we have the diamond underneath, and on top of it, we have the raindrop. Let's have a look where these shapes are in terms of opposite sides. Raindrop at the top. Then near the bottom, we have the triangle. And at the bottom, we have the diamond. As you guys could see, where the raindrop is and where the triangle is, they're both on the same color surface. They're both on blue surface, which means they're both on opposite sides. Because same color means opposite sides. And according to the opposite sides rule, opposite sides can never be next to each other. But in this cube, if you notice that this raindrop and this triangle, they're next to each other, even though they're on opposite sides. So therefore, we can go ahead and cross off C. Now, we're only left with B, which means our answer to this question is B. I hope you guys understood everything. The answer we got for this question is B. Now let's check if B is right by folding the net. And as you guys could see, the cube for B is exactly the same. So that means our answer to this question is B. This is an aid for constructing the cube to gain a better understanding of how the net folds in a far more effective way. So the link's in the description below and in the comments section. So go check that out. Now to learn more nonverbal reasoning types, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous type, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.